Walking down State Street, the spectacle, the sparkling lights in the snow, childhood wonder, and adult nostalgia. It's Christmas time in Chicago at Marshall Fields. This Christmas tradition at Chicago's Anchor Store traces back to the turn of the century. In the late 1800s, Fields began to dedicate space to Christmas, advertising, merchandise, and a seasonal toy department. Holiday decor began, especially after Fields opened its huge new building featuring the iconic Walnut Room. What began as some employees putting up a small Christmas tree turned into a 25-foot tree in 1934. By the middle of the century, Fields had the world's largest indoor Christmas tree. It took 18 people to trim the three-story, 45-foot giant hoisted atop the drained fountain in the Walnut Room. It was magical to everyone, but especially for kids. In 1910, huge transparent panels could now grace storefronts, thanks to improved glass manufacturing in the U.S. Creative display managers went to work. Fields' Arthur Frazier used the corner window on Washington Boulevard to display holiday items. His first creation featured a carousel and toy trains. These windows continued through World War II but the war actually inspired a new idea that would propel fields into the collective hearts of Chicagoans forever. The creative team, led by new designer John Moss in 1944, made the decision to forego the merchandise and instead to focus on the story. Their first experiment recreated the night before Christmas. The windows were so well received, the tradition continued and it expanded. Soon, the entire length of windows along State Street featured a theme narrative story each year. And what's unique about this was the clear messaging Fields took. Gone were the items for sale. There was no merchandise in the windows anymore. In their place was simply holiday cheer. In 1946, Fields introduced Uncle Mistletoe, primarily in response to Montgomery Ward's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uncle Mistletoe sported a red coat and a black top hat. His white wings allowed him to fly around the world, inspiring kids to be kind. That first year, the theme was a Christmas dream. In it, a gentle old man brought kids to the North Pole Uncle Mistletoe gained friends and family over the years. In 1948, Aunt Holly was added. The pair was a hit, and Fields benefited from their popularity, selling ornaments, dolls, candles, hot pads, and more. All along, the window strategy was always to give the kids what they want. 
it worked. The windows, with time, became more intricate and detailed. Some even included fake snow made from salt and ground up glass. It took designers over a year to birth their creations from idea to finished product. And people kept coming to see the magnificent displays. Each November, the collective public awaited with great anticipation to see what fields would showcase. Thousands upon thousands of visitors made their way to the Windy City from all over the Midwest to take in the holiday splendor on State Street and to do their Christmas shopping. Much to the dismay of Chicagoans, Marshall Fields was bought by Dayton Hudson's in 1991 and then sold to Macy's in 2006. Seasons change. Uncle Mistletoe is long retired, living on in Fields' glory days of long ago. Tiptoe, the blue reindeer, will make his debut in 2021. What do you remember? What was your favorite window? Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.